In this video, I will explain the third periodic trend, ionization energy. And as before, I will use a periodic table and tell you how it goes first. So, ionization energy is actually the opposite as atomic energy is a metallic character. It will increase from left to right and down to up. Increase and increase. So let's first define what ionization energy is. So I'll just call it A dot E. I dot E, sorry. It's the minimum energy. Required to move one mole of electrons one mole of electrons from one mole of gaseous atoms. And the ionization in its equation form is X for an element in gaseous form will form X plus G plus one electron. So that equation pretty much sums up the definition. The minimum energy required to move one mole of electron, so we're taking out this this electron from this. It was a neutral atom. We we had a neutral gas, and we take out one mole of electron, so we make that that gas positive. We make it a cation, and we take and we have an electron floating around. So you could say that gas is ionized. So let's compare this trend to the other trends to figure out why it works like that. So compared to our metallic energy. It is the opposite. So when we have high ionization energy, i.e. that means that we need a good amount of work to remove one electron. So high uh, amount of or large amount yeah, large would sound better large amount of work required to remove one electron so probably the element won't get removed that electron so electron probably not removed and something that doesn't want to to lose an electron is something that really likes having electrons so a nonmetal would have would like having electrons like let's see Cl minus it likes being in its ionic form or F minus or I minus you don't see you don't really see a metal become negative because he wants to lose an electron you don't see Ca2 minus because it just it just wants to lose the electron it wants to go to go positive so something that won't get removed an electron will stay negative and that will have a low metallic character. Did I really write metallic energy? I'm sorry about that. So it'll have a low metallic character. And a low a low metallic character, as I said before, it's 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 a non metal. So non metal. A non metal will have a high ionization energy. So going back to the periodic table, we see that it's going to the right. So 
pretty much not this section. This this includes some metals, but mm, mostly this section will not like getting removed an electron. Like fluorine, you won't give up an, an electron because, uh, as we'll talk later, it's the most el electronative and atom or element and it just doesn't want to give up the electrons so it has a high ionization energy so now let's compare it to atomic radius hopefully I won't write atomic energy yeah there we go so let's just go again with the same high ionization energy because it's the as the opposite atomic radius decreases as, as ionization energy increases that means that a large work as before to remove electron and for that to happen when you compare it to atomic radius it means that the, that the electron has to be strongly attracted or very close to the nucleus so strongly attracted electron which means that it's close to the nucleus it won't the nucleus won't want to let the electron go because positive likes negative so it will just stay very it will be very hard to to remove that electron from there so if if it's close to nucleus then that means that the atomic radius or right, AR is small and from going back to our trends something that has a small atomic radius is usually a non-metal and is up so that explains this one so we said that francium had the highest atomic radius and but uh, potassium or sodium or lithium doesn't have a so, such a big atomic radius even though it's on the left but it's up so our it will be harder to remove an electron from something like lithium that is kind of close to the nucleus it's pretty close to the nucleus from something like cesium that has a very big atomic radius and the attraction is not as strong so you can take that electron pretty easily well that's uh, that's ionization energy so now we know that just to wrap it up uh, if you have if you have a periodic table the atomic radius a metallic character increase that way and that way and the ionization energy, I'm gonna make it red, increases that way, and that way. So now we have our first three periodic trends, and I'll talk about the other ones in following videos. And well, as always, if you found the video helpful, like it and share it with your friends.